so this is after one hour and here you can see it's a dark brown or reddish purple color so now what we're going to do is go ahead and remove this from the heat um, we're going to raise it up away from this uh, heating mantle let it cool down to room temperature and we'll put it in the ice bath um, so that we can get it to work cold temperature for the uh, separation should make sure that they are all nicely clamped yes because it's right now it's round bottom class is very hot so we'll wait for let it come at room temperature then we will remove it so we've let it uh, just kind of cool in the air for about 10 minutes it's down to about 40 degrees celsius um, so we'll go ahead and Take this off of the reflux apparatus and set the um, round bottom flask in this ice bath just to fully cool it down to room temperature. Make sure it's tight on there. So after ice bath, we will transfer into ice cold water. Yeah, we'll do it into the separatory funnel. So first, what we're going to do is add about half or two thirds of this into the separatory funnel. Make sure that it's closed. This is cold water. Yes, cold water right here. Ice cold water. Cool. So once that cools down a little bit more, we'll go ahead and add that separatory funnel and then finish off the rest of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can smell the banana. Yeah. So now, if it is smelling banana, it means uh, reaction is over. So it's been sitting in the ice for about 10 minutes now. It's nice and cold, so we'll go ahead and do this uh, wash. Pour it in with our cold water. Follow it up with the rest of our cold water. So we're going to shake this a few times just to get everything nice and mixed. This step shouldn't be too much gas being created. Top layer is going to be our. Uh, it's going to be our product, the isobutyl or sorry, the isopentyl acetate. Bottom layer is going to be water and like sulfuric acid. Um, yeah. We need to wait at least five minutes. Let the two layers separate. Yeah. So now that the layers have separated, we're gonna drain off our lower aqueous layer. So 
bottom layer is waste and top layer is uh, our product cool so next what we're going to do is we're going to wash with 25 milliliters of uh, five percent sodium bicarbonate we're going to do this step twice and then we're going to follow it with 25 milliliters of sat uh, saturated sodium chloride we're just going to do that one once this is to neutralize any remaining acetic acid so you should see some bubbles similar to in our last video uh, with the nitration experiment it's also important to remember to vent this funnel regularly because there will be some gas buildup So we'll wash one more time with the uh, sodium bicarbonate. Yes. And then uh, dry with saturated sodium chloride solution. This one is kind of taking a bit longer to separate the layers uh, than most are. You can kind of see the yellow is kind of receding and this little darker band is kind of starting to grow. We're gonna wait until this bottom solution is mostly clear it takes some more time mm -hmm. yeah you can see it's still growing okay so we'll base remove the bottom layer and then wash once again with the sodium bicarbonate and the top layer will remain here oh it's now it's very clear yeah Do the repeat the same thing. Yes, we're gonna get another 25 mils of. So I just finished washing with the second time of sodium bicarbonate, and I did once with the saturated uh, sodium chloride solution. Uh, so now this is our kind of slightly cleaner product. What we're gonna do is put it all into this 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and then we're gonna dry it over uh, anhydrous sodium sulfate just to kind of get any remaining water. Uh, out of the solution. This is sodium sulfate? Yes, this is sodium sulfate. Oh, and I know sodium sulfate. you want to add it until it doesn't clump up anymore at the bottom. Once there's stuff kind of floating around, then you know you're good. That looks to be pretty good. You can see there's kind of particles that aren't clumped together. Uh, So now what we're going to do is we're going to decant this uh, into our round bottom flask and then set up the simple distillation. Um, what we'll distill out will be our product, so we'll collect our product over here and then what's, what will be remaining from the round bottom flask is any remaining acetic acid or sulfuric acid. So I just finished pouring out um, just the liquid part uh, from here. This is all that's left. This is all the sodium sulfate um, kind of clumped up with all the water. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side and put this into our simple distillation. So this is the isopentyl alcohol have boiling point 142 degrees Celsius. So once we will collect the product here 
We need uh, one more apparatus. Yes, we should have another 50 ml or the Meyer class. We're going to set this on 6 heat. The boiling point is about 130 or 140. going now. Um, while we're waiting for that to heat up and start boiling, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up just to kind of save on time. So um, these were our washes from our uh, separation. We're going to put these in the aqueous waste and this is our sodium sulfate. We're going to put this in the solid waste and then we're going to start cleaning up all of our glassware. solid waste and the aqueous will go into aqueous waste. Yeah. So, this is a very important process in the organic chemistry lab. You have to clean all the glass layers with your own and then dry for the next student so that they can use dry and clean apparatus. And meanwhile we can see our distillation is temperature is right now 135 and it is uh, vapors are coming here right now you can see very soon we will get the product so here how much we left so everything gone So we've been uh, distilling for about maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, it's at like 150 uh, degrees Celsius. I go ahead and turn that off. Um, so this stuff right here is our product. This is all kind of our byproducts or waste. We're gonna get that last couple drops. So we're gonna go ahead and get a volume for this so that we can get our percent yield. Point eight ml, one point nine. Yeah, one, yeah, one point eight. So now we'll just clean up our uh, distillation apparatus, and then uh, that'll be it. Then characterize the product with GC, IR, and NMR. So from one point eight, one point eight uh, ml. We have to calculate the, our product yield. Let's see from here. Okay, so it's around 1.8 ml isopentyl alcohol. We got it. Yeah. 